everybody Pikio gamer here and I saw this video come out yesterday from Dreamcast guy if you haven't subbed or watched his show or his channel I mean go go give him a look he's a really good youtuber and he dropped really a bombshell at least to me it is you know I always that I look at the, the theories the rumors and where things are going with the consoles and I was going to make a video about 2018 where we're going with consoles with Microsoft and Sony and I didn't make it I decided to do something else and do some other things which I started my picky review series it's going there's more to come I keep doing my what pisses me off series but this type of stuff right here is actually some of the things I like to talk about but he says and you know I'm taking with this with a grain of salt one I'm not calling anybody a liar because I don't think he would have come forward with this information with being such a larger youtuber I don't think we got a got a repeat of what other people has done but he has supposedly he has a contact within Microsoft and they're going to start making or they're planning another Xbox for 2019 okay yeah think about that for a second we just had a $500 Xbox one X drop late 2017 pretty much might as well say 2017 to 18 is that you know right there its sales have been pretty good but it's dropping off just like the ps4 pros he even mentioned this in his video I mean these these 4k mid-cycle console upgrades are they do pretty good they're not going to do what Microsoft really wants to or what Sony wanted them to but from what he's telling is that Microsoft is scared shitless over a PlayStation 5 announcement and he brings up some good a good point is that the Xbox One, excuse me, Xbox 360 came out about a year before the PS3 and it made a huge difference. It really, Xbox 360 owned that generation for a long time and then Sony started catching up and it did great too. Look at this generation. They came out at the same time. Microsoft stepped in the crap with that $500 Connect bundle mess and they fell behind. So what he's saying in his video is there's three things. One, release date's the most important, then price, and then what's in the damn box. That's like, what? They're scared. Microsoft's so scared that they're going to put the functionality as third behind price. So it means that the price will be high if they want to get what they really want out of it and get it out there faster. And then the release date is the most important thing and like I said I was going to make a video talking about where we're going with Sony and um, Microsoft this year and I didn't make it I sh I'm kind of glad I did because now this is confirming we're back into a potential rumor mill that even internally this thing might be called Xbox 2 and please Microsoft whenever you bring out the next Xbox you call it Xbox 2 just don't come just don't step on the stage that's the dumbest name Xbox 1 with a dumb name but maybe it's a code name but we don't need this we don't need these companies already marching toward the future they they release these 4k mid-cycle console upgrades that they've done okay one side will tell you one bunch of fans will tell you oh my god what the fuck barbecue's all this the best thing ever to sell it sells pretty good. The Xbox One X sold really well. There's a lot of Xbox fans that wanted that most powerful system. They could then point at the Sony fans, say, "Look what I got," and it sold sold well. But it's it's dropping off. It's not going to stay that high. It's a five hundred dollar box that plays the same games that the two hundred or so dollar box plays, same as the PlayStation. I've said this with Game Ramblings for a long time. In 2016, when we first heard the PlayStation 4 Neo, these things are not going to do very well. And if they're going to start rushing to the new console, and look where we're at. Of course, this is a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt. I am not calling Dreamcast Guy a liar. I like his channel, I like his content. He's well respected, and he 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 earned that. That's why when I saw his, his video, I sat there and went, Oh, damn. I was like, wow, really? Whew. And I hope his friend is lying or frankly is 
is completely wrong and internally Microsoft just changes this at least 2020 my gosh they don't need to be pushing in 2019 but if they're that scared of Sony this is not going to be good for consumers look at the Dreamcast how fast it was rushed didn't do well did it the 32X was half ass rushed didn't do so well Sega had some problems there if they if Microsoft rushes and doesn't do well and gets a true new generation okay Xbox 2 here's the Xbox 2 games you can only get it here and it just goes <clears throat> Microsoft is in trouble I don't know it's it's kind of scary to think about and I'm not going to really worry about it this year but it, it, it this is the stuff that we all you know I love about the video game industry we we're all set for the NX coming out, and we thought, even me and a lot of people, let's make a powerful box. Here come this Neo stuff and this Scorpio stuff. And then it just went, flipped on its head, and it's very interesting. It's fascinating. But if this is where Microsoft's going now, in just the beginning of 2018, he said it's been talking about this for months. So they're getting a 1X out, and I already talked about it. And yeah, there's, there's rumor, or not rumors, there's, you know, uh, news articles that saw, uh, bleh, excuse me saying to me Sony's and Microsoft but Nintendo is working on the next switch of course they are every company has the next thing on the drawing board that's the way it works they're probably working with Nvidia to get a better and better version of the switch and when they get to that point where they've sold dozens tens and tens of millions they'll just upgrade and then we'll have the switch too but they're in a different class. They're not even really going against the PlayStation 4 and Xbox. I don't know. What do you think in the comments below? Uh, I, I hope this is wrong. But if this is where these companies are going. I think Cyrus and I called it 2016. We called it on Game Ramblings. If you go back and look. So you are, our loyal followers probably saw that. We called that on our show. So... I hope this is wrong. I hope this doesn't work out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Everything's just popped up on the screen here. Subscribe and share. And please uh, click the thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy the new videos I'm putting out. And hit that notification bell so you can get the latest and greatest videos that come out. All right, everybody. Big Kill Gamer. Out.